On June 16, 2016, CERN fired up their Large Hadron Collider to run a new program at which they collided the particles in a different manner. This was almost four years to the day after they discovered the higgs boson particle, also known as the God particle. And almost 10 days later, photographer Christophe Suarez posted these pictures of the sky as CERN fired up their Large Hadron Collider. Many believe that what they achieved that day was opening up a portal to another dimension. Well, first off, what is CERN? CERN stands for the European Council of Nuclear Research. And their facilities are home to the Large Hadron Collider, which is the world's largest and highest energy particle collider. How it works is it uses this particle accelerator to increase subatomic particle beams to near speeds of light before they use electromagnetics to guide them into collision. And when these particles collide for a split second, it recreates what is known as the Big Bang Theory. This is essentially the event that took place to create the building blocks of life. But this hasn't gone without controversy, as the conspiracy community thinks that CERN is up to much more than just physics. This is based on a few factors, one being their name, CERN. Many believe that CERN is derived from the pagan deity Cernunos, the Horned One. In Celtic mythology, he was the lord of the forest and protected all animals. For years he was worshipped by many cultures, but the Christian church saw him as a threat, so they began putting propaganda against him as being a devil-worshipping deity. They associated him with paganism and witchcraft. So that stuck. Many Luciferians call him by the name of Baphomet. And it seems as though CERN included a form of him in their ceremonies for openings, like the Goddard Tunnel. They claimed it was because the mountain goats lived in the same area of the Alps, but people aren't buying it. And many don't know this, but CERN's Arts and Propaganda and Advertising Department is well funded, one of the best funded in the industry. And needless to say, some of their promotion has been awful odd. And in the courtyard stands a statue of the Hindu god of destruction named Shiva. And on top of all that, the town in France that it was built on was where the Roman temple for Apollo was located. Locals believe that within the temple, there was a gateway to the underworld. And many say that's why they built it so far underground, because they wanted to get closer to said portal. And they theorize that they may use this or the Goddard Tunnel to open the portal. So there's a lot of implications for tomorrow. Some speculate that the portal, if it does open, that CERN really doesn't understand what they're meddling with, and they're gonna let dark energy through. And those who are drinking and having fun and are out of sorts are easily taken over. So be careful. Try to keep your mind right and keep everything on point. Don't let yourself go too far. Use crystals and burn sage in your environment. Keep good vibes. It'll keep the bad entities away. So due to these factors, there's a lot of people who think that they could be opening a portal to the underworld. What do I think? I don't know. Only time will tell to be honest. Only time will tell. There's also the worry that they don't realize what they're meddling with and that they could actually cause the destruction of the entire planet. Because when these particles collide, they actually create a black hole. Though it's very small, it's still a black hole. Some fear that over time, it could grow and actually consume the Earth itself. Tom Horn, who's been a critic of CERN, he states that the director of CERN has even stated that they know there are parallel universes and other dimensions they could reach. He quotes director of research Sergio Bartolucci as saying that they know that it could open the door to another reality or dimension and that something could get through it. That more or less, it's ultimately possibly their goal by the way he talked. So the fact that they're increasing the speed and the number of particles that are colliding may be a cause for concern, it's hard to say. I will say it does seem as though they do kind of present weird signs and insignia that they're not on the bright side of the light. Only time will tell. According to one of my sources, the higher beings are upset with the last time we ran the Hadron Collider due to the fact that there was a lot of dark entities let out. And they've had to go around and capture them.
cleaning up the mess. This move almost caused them to just forget about it and give up on us, according to this source. Now, is that true? Could all just be hearsay? Who knows? Ultimately, it's fun to ponder over regardless, but let's hope this is all just a big hoax and maybe they're about real physics. Either way, stay watching, stay diligent, and pay attention to tomorrow. So there you have it, y'all. You asked me, you've been asking me, a number of you have been asking me to do a video on CERN. That's where it's at. That's what I found. And there's my stance so far. Oh yeah, and one last thing. Did you know the World Wide Web was created at CERN? I never knew that. So at the end of the day, we can at least say they did that good thing, right? All right, y'all. Happy 4th of July. Hope y'all are doing well today with your friends and family. Spend some time. Love y'all. I am out.